nobody wants a messy, dirty home. We all want to create the best environment for ourselves and for our families. And advertisers prey on that. They try to make you believe that your home isn't truly clean until you have all of these different products. So you might be staring at a cupboard full of cleaners and realizing that you probably don't even use half of them. Well, it is time to clean out your cleaning supplies. Let's go. Hi guys, it's Laura and I have a confession to make. I am not a clean person. I'm a tidy person, but not a clean person. The vast majority of the cleaners that you will see here and just generally in this video were actually purchased by my husband or my mother-in-law. But one of the biggest benefits that you will notice from this declutter challenge is how much cleaner your home looks when it is actually just decluttered. It may not actually be cleaner, but just by tidying up, you can make it look so much cleaner. And then also, you will have a lot less cleaning to do because less stuff equals less cleaning. Now, in case you've just dropped in, welcome. We are on day 13 of the Clutter Free in 5 challenge where we tackle small spaces that get big results and all in just five minutes a day. I will link to the playlist if you want to catch up and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the rest. Having a clean home is one of those big markers of having your shit together and it is so ingrained in us to have a spotless home that first off I want to deal with one of the biggest obstacles that you will come up against. You will feel a lot of resistance probably around this topic and that is utility. The idea that these cleaners, these products are actually useful in some way but I will harken back to something that I said in a previous video which is that just because something is useful doesn't mean that you will or that you should actually use it. I think if we're honest, we can probably come up with a use for everything, even rubbish. <laughs> you know, we could conceivably come up with some use for that. I think it's why we have trouble getting rid of a lot of stuff. It's because we can envision a situation where that might come in handy. Like right now, I have a box right here up on the counter. It's a good box, <laughs> but it won't fit in any of my drawers because it's too high. I have really shallow drawers. It also won't fit in any of my cupboards because it's too wide, but I won't get rid of it because it's a good box. But just keep that in mind. Something being useful, like potentially having a use, doesn't mean that you have to hang on to it. Okay, let's get down to the decluttering and then I will talk about two ways to organize your cleaning supplies. We are doing this in five minutes, so if you have a lot, remember you can break it down, maybe just tackling spray bottles or just one shelf or maybe focusing on kind of cleaning tools like cloths, sponges, scrubbers, mops, dusters, brooms, <laughs> things like that. Pull those things out and the first thing you want to do is ask yourself, when was the last time you used it? A really good aid here is the stuff at the back. That's the stuff you're not using. When it comes right down to it, us humans are just very simple creatures. We crave simplicity. We don't want lots of different products to do lots of different things. We just want one thing to do all those jobs. Truthfully, being very honest with you here, most of my cleaning around the house is done with water and a cloth. And that's it. Simplicity at its finest. Next, then examine what the main function of that product is and if there is another product you have that would basically do the same thing. Chances are, if you have got stuff that has been pushed to the back, it's because you are reaching for the stuff in the front that is doing the same job. It's because you don't need all of that stuff at the back. Something in the front is doing the exact same thing. You probably use the same few cleaners to do all of the jobs around your home. At their core, a lot of products actually do basically the exact same thing. Don't buy into that idea that, you know, there are lots of different products that do lots of different things. Don't think that this new thing on the market is some completely different type of product. The stuff that cleans your kitchen counters is basically the exact same stuff that cleans your bathroom counters. It's just that one of them has a citrus scent. 
you know what, dishwasher tablets are actually a great example of this. They all do more or less the same job. This one, this one has a power ball. <laughs> Sorry, I can't even say that with a straight face. Do you know how ridiculous that sounds? A ball of power. <laughs> it's a dishwasher tablet. But this one over here has mega mystical, fizzling, proactive bubble, the micro bubbles with space dust and some scientific term that you don't understand, but that sounds really impressive. This is all nonsense. I kind of hear that stuff when I'm inwardly cringing, just rolling my eyes. Have you ever noticed how four out of five dentists recommend every single toothpaste? It's just marketing. Okay, I'll get down off my soapbox for now. Get it? Soap. Cleaning products. I waste it on YouTube. <laughs> so is it basically the same thing as something else? And then what condition is it in? A lot of cleaners will expire, and particularly if it's a cleaning tool, you know, it's not gonna be in great condition forever. Cloths, sponges, things like that. So go through and examine the condition that they're in, what the quality is like. But generally just be honest about what you actually use and then get rid of the rest. Now, just before we talk about the two main ways that you can organize these supplies, I want to talk about something that I call natural decluttering. That is just naturally using something up. It's the same way that you naturally declutter food by eating it or you naturally declutter candles by burning them. Unless you're like me and you come across a candle that's too pretty to burn. But cleaners fall into this category too. So look at what you have left and commit to actually using up or naturally decluttering that product. And then as you use something up, ask yourself if you really actually need to replace it. Again, do you have something else that will work just as well? Like water. But let go of that fear that... If you don't have a particular product, your home just will not be clean. Just having a product, just buying a product, does not actually make your home clean. It's the stuff that you are using that makes your home clean. So don't buy into that hype that you need all of these different things. Look, like 16th century royals in their big castles, they didn't have five different stain treatments. Well, they didn't have anything. They're cleaners and maids and staff and all that stuff. But, you know, they had a mop and bucket and a cloth, a few rags and a bar of soap. But those places were sparkling. Okay, then let's talk about organization. Basically, there are two main ways that you can organize your cleaning supplies. The first is to have them all in one central location. That is what I opt for. If you're doing that, I would recommend that you get some sort of caddy to make it easy to carry those things around when you do need to do some cleaning. And then the other way, probably obvious to you now, but that is to leave little cleaning kits in each room that you would need them. So for example, if you've got two bathrooms, you would have a little cleaning kit in each bathroom. The upside of that is that when you do have that desire to clean or you notice something that needs cleaning, you can just do it right there on the spot. You don't have to go get things. So it removes that kind of barrier to cleaning. It's very easy to just whip out a cloth, whip out your cleaners and do it right then and there. I will say, even though I do have like a central cleaning caddy, I do keep some cloths in some of the rooms where I would do most of the cleaning. Um, so that definitely helps as well. I don't have individual cleaning kits, but I do have cloths spread throughout the house. But then obviously the downside to those kits is that you need to have multiples of the same product because you will have multiple kits. So whichever one you think will work for you, set that one up and obviously be mindful of the fact that whatever one you do set up, you don't have to keep it that way. If after a while you realize it's just not working for you, then try the other way. But this is what I do, one kind of sense, well, now like I said, I don't do much cleaning, so, but I have one central location and then a few cloths dotted around the house that I can just, you know, wet, damp, 
wipe things down. Now tomorrow marks two weeks of the deep clutter challenge so we are going to be doing things a little bit differently. If you feel that you're starting to run out of steam or maybe that someone else in your home is kind of thwarting your decluttering efforts, be sure to subscribe because you're going to want to catch that one. Gareb Mila Magwev. August Becky Mishif Shikaloa. Slan. Powerball. So ridiculous.